Hi, I'm Emily. Chris and I do lots of unconventional long-term DIY travel. We're currently on a four-month trip where the first leg of our trip took us to Montreal, Quebec. We're now spending some time with our families in Ontario and next week we leave for Greece and Italy. When we're in North America, we love traveling in our Honda Pilot micro camper. But depending on where we're going, driving our camper may not be possible. In some situations, we may rent an Airbnb instead, but in other cases, we may really want a vehicle that we can sleep in and use to travel around. So for that, we can rent a vehicle. Renting RVs or camper vans are expensive and they're often less readily available. So we find that renting a regular minivan is a great solution. Or do what we're doing today and borrow Chris's parents' Dodge Caravan. Minivans are easy to find and they have plenty of room for sleeping and being comfortable. So here's how we convert a minivan into a micro camper in just 10 minutes. First, we put down the seats. Then we lay out our bed. We have ultralight sleeping bags and air mattresses that we can pack into our backpacks and check them on the plane to use when we arrive. Next, we put in the kitchen. For the cooler, we have a few options. We can check it on the plane as a bag on its own, or we can do what we prefer to do and we can just buy one at our destination. Depending on where we are, we can either pick it up for cheap at a local store, or we can try and find a used one at whatever the local buy and sell website is. For our kitchen stuff, we check our tea towels, pots, plates, and utensils on the plane. We usually check our stove too, but we always check with the airline first before putting it in our luggage. We pick up the fuel and disposable products at our destination. We also try and get some inexpensive or free camping chairs too. From there, we add in some curtains and bug screens for privacy. The curtains we use also double as our beach blankets during the day. Then we add in some ventilation and we're all set. So we can be adventurous during the day and have a cozy, comfortable, inexpensive spot to spend the night. In fact, the entire family we're visiting in Ontario thought so too and wanted to get in to check out our conversion. Thanks for checking out our video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more long-term, unconventional DIY travel ideas.